Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to solve a problem involving pure substance where the question goes like this. It says, determine the enthalpy and entropy of steam when pressure is 0 0.7 megapascal and the specific volume is 0 0.2700 meter cube per kilogram. Solution. The first thing we should do is to write out the data that is given. Now we are giving the pressure to be equals to 0 0.7 megapascal. And I want to write the pressure in terms of kilopascal and bar. Right? So another way of writing 0 0.7 megapascal is also 700 kilopascal, right? So to convert from 0 0.7 megapascal into kilopascal, you multiply by 1000. Is that okay now? Now, similarly, how did I come across this? If you look at this, if I have 0 0.7 megapascal, isn't it as writing? 0 0.7 times 10 to the power 6 pascal because mega means 10 to the power of what 6. Now, if I split it by writing it this way by saying 0 0.7 times 10 to the power 3 times 10 to the power 3 pascal, you can see that with your indices, since they have the same base, 3 plus 3 is giving us 6, so I split them into 2. Now, I can rewrite this by saying 0 0.7 times 10 to the power 3 means 10 times 10 times 10, which is what 1000. Multiply by this 10 to the power 3, I can write it in terms of k because k is also the it's also written as 10 to the power 3. So I can write kilopascal here. So when I multiply 0 0.7 times 1000, it will give me 700, then we'll have kilopascal. This is how I come about the 700 kilopascal. Now, in some um, steam table, we usually take pressure in terms of bar also, right? So how can I convert 0 0.7 megapascal into bar? Now let me just do that and see. Another way of writing mega, we know it is 10 to the power what, 6, right? So I have 0 0.7 times 10 to the power 6 um, pascal. Is that taken? Now if I split it into 2, I'll be having 0 0.7 times 10 to the power 1 times 10 to the power 5 pascal. Because we know since they have the same base, 1 plus 5 will also give us 6. Now we now have 0 0.7 times 10 to the power 1 is 10. So 10 times 7 is what? That will give us 7, right? 10 times 0 0.7 will give us what? 7. Now, you need to understand that 1 bar is equivalent to what? 10 to the power 5 pascal. Is that okay now? So instead of writing 10 to the power 5 pascal, I'll be writing my 1 bar so that I'm having 7 bar. So if you are giving in terms of mega, you want to check in terms of mega pascal, it is 0 0.7 mega pascal. If you want to give in terms of kilopascal, it is 700 kilopascal. If you are looking at it in terms of bar, it is what? 7 bar, right? So let's proceed. Now we are giving the specific uh, the specific volume to be 0 0.2700 meg, uh, meg, uh, meter cube per kilogram, right? So this is what we are given. Now we are told to calculate for the enthalpy and entropy, right? So before you move forward, we need to understand one thing, that for we to use the relationship of what? of um, enthalpy or entropy we need the dryness fraction right we need what the dryness fraction so what we'll do is we want to calculate for dryness fraction first of all so calculating for dryness fraction here we will see that um, my specific volume v is equals to the volume at liquid state that is vf plus the dryness fraction multiplied by specific volume at gaseous state minus specific volume at liquid state. We use F to represent liquid and G to represent what? Gas. That is what we have here. So what is my, if I now rewrite this again, what is my, I want to write my specific volume V will be equals to the VF at 700 kilopascal or you put 7 bar depending on the kind of steam table you are using because we want to check the uh, the we want to check the volume specific volume of the gas at what 
at 700 of the liquid at 700 kilopascal or 7 by any of the two right plus the drainage fraction into bracket the volume of the gas specific volume of the gas at 700 kilopascal minus specific volume of the uh, of the of the liquid at 700 kilopascal so this is how i wrote it down making use of that 700 but without using this we cannot know how is the uh, how is the volume at gaseous state and how is the volume at liquid state right so if i start putting my parameter we have uh, the specific volume given to be 0.2700 am i correct yes 0.2700 equals to now look at the for, we want to check vf that means specific volume of the liquid right at 700 of the steam let me put it out of the steam in liquid states at 700 kilopascal so we'll check it on our, our steam table look at steam table here now one thing you need to understand is you trace the pressure go down to what to 700 you look for saturated um, water right saturated water at steam and vapor you can see that we are talking about steam now so you trace the pressure look at the pressure here you trace it down until you get to 700 kilopascal or if you can see seven bar you can check on that seven bar look, look at on this column here so you get to this point now you also trace vf now look at the specific volume here at liquid state coming down here to this point and look at what we're having we're having 0 0.001108 at that point plus the dryness fraction into bracket you check for vg at 700 kilopascal also you check vg you come down until you get to vg under what 700 kilopascal or 7 bar you'll be having what 0.272728 right minus the same thing here vf at 700 kilopascal and that'll give us what 0.001108 is all we have here now if we proceed we now have 0 0.7 0 0.2700 equals to 0 0.001108 plus dryness fraction into bracket when you subtract 0 0.272 0 0.27278 minus 0 0.001108 you'll be having 0 0.27167 right so what we have here now in doing that i will take this 0 0.001108 to the left hand side to, I mean, i'm collecting like terms so when i do that i'll be having 0 0.2700 minus 0 0.001108 equals to 0 0.2717 times the drainage fraction right now if you subtract 0 0.2700 minus 0 0.001108 you'll be having 0 0.2689 which will now give us 0 0.2717 times the drainage fraction now if i make the drainage fraction inside of the formula i'll be having my drainage fraction x is given as what 0 0.2689 divided by 0 0.2717 so my drainage fraction x will be given as what 0 0.9897 so this is what we have here as our drainage fraction right so we are on track because your drainage fraction must not be greater than one and must not be less than zero is that taken okay now when the drainage fraction is one it means it is pure gas saturated gas saturated vapor right now but when it is less than one that is when it's equal to zero it is pure liquid but when it is 0 0.5 it is what it is both mixture of gas and liquid at equal proportion is that okay now so let's now move forward so we'll now write calculating for what the enthalpy h so recall the relationship between the enthalpy and the, the, the enthalpy at um, liquid states and gaseous states will giving us h is equals to hf plus general fraction into bracket hg minus hf this way just like we did in specific volume now if i should rewrite this my h will now give me hf at 700 kilopascal plus the drainage fraction into bracket hg at 700 kilopascal minus hf at 700 kilopascal 
depend on the steam table that you are using if it's one of bar you make it of seven bar but i'm using the one of what kilo pascal now this is what we have here so when i start inputting my value right i'll be having h is equals to what is hf at 700 kilopascal let's check this is if you trace it down to 700 you can see that you look for hf this is hf i'm going to trace it down until i get to what to 700 and what do i see here 697.00 is that taking plus i'll look for the dryness fraction which is we have calculated for which is 0 0.9897 into bracket I would look for hg at 700 kilopascal if you check it 2762.8 right minus i will look for the hf at 700 kilopascal also 697.00 is that okay now so when we have that we we'll now see that the h will now be equals to 697.00 plus 0 0.9897 into bracket if you subtract 2762.8 minus uh 697.00 you'll be having 2065.8 now my h now will now give me 697.00 plus when you multiply 0 0.9897 times 2065.8 you'll be having 2044.522 right that is we're applying the robot mass here now so if you now my h will now give me if you now add both of them 697.00 plus 2044.522 will be having my enthalpy to be equals to 2741.522 kilojoule per kilogram. So that is the enthalpy of this system here. Similarly, we'll do that for what? For entropy. So the relationship of entropy will give me the S is equals to SF plus X into bracket sg plus sf right so this is what we have there now when i say the entropy s will now give me the entropy that is sf at 700 kilopascal plus the dryness fraction s into bracket sg at 700 kilopascal uh, minus sf at 700 kilopascal is that the key now so when we do that we'll now say the x will now give us the entropy will now be equals to if you look at sf you go to the steam table and check for sf at this top here look at it and you move down the column to get to the row of what 700 kilopascal that is the pressure there and if you look at it you'll be seeing 1.9918 right plus um we have the drainage fraction which is giving us 0 0.9897 which we calculated for into bracket we look at sg go to sg move down the column of sg this way right as you're coming down go to the row of what 700 kilopascal under the pressure and you'll be having what um you'll be having you'll be having what uh 6.7071 that is for in terms of the sg minus sf we already have sf which is 1.9918 so take it so my s now my entropy will now give me 1.9918 plus 0 0.9897 into bracket when you subtract 6.7071 minus 1.9918 you'll be having uh 4.7153 so take it now so when you do that your entropy s will now give me 1.9918 plus um 4.6667 right so if you add the two the entropy of this system will now give us 6.6585 kilojoule per kilogram so that is my entropy of the system is that okay now so uh if you have uh, found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video. Thanks for watching.